Okay, now comes for uh, the actual getting it ready to export for the laser cutter. So for this part right here, uh, one weird thing about Onshape is it doesn't automatically get rid of all the construction lines. So you actually want to go around and delete these um, right away. So we're going to delete any lines that we don't actually need. Um, also, yeah, that should be okay for now. The rest we can delete when we, we when we upload this onto on or to Inkscape. We're going to delete this image here so that it's out of the way. You can just select an end, and it gets rid of it. What we can do from here is go over to Sketch, right click this. Oh, actually, sorry. We got to press the little arrow button so we complete the sketch. Uh, then we're going to right click it here. If you go down to create drawing of sketch one, we're going to select that. Uh, you're probably going to have a menu that looks like this. Uh, we're just going to leave it right here, the top one with the inch, and press OK. And then it's going to bring this up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this to the side like that, and we're going to select all this stuff and delete it. Get rid of it. We don't need it. Even the one and the two thing, we can get rid of that stuff. All right. Now that we have that deleted, we can drag this onto our sheet. So we have to make this our, work, our workspace for the laser cutter. So we're going to go over here where it says Sheets. It's going to bring up this menu. Then we're going to right click uh, Sheet 1. Uh, go down to properties and we're going to change a few things. We're going to change scale to one to one so we can scroll up on this menu, select one to one. Then for size, we can select custom and change this to we're going to do 23 by 23 uh, just so it's the size of the, of the laser cutter. All right, and we're going to press the arrow. Okay, now what we can do is move this drawing so it's up right here at the top. And we're good to go. As you probably notice, um, these lines right here, uh, we're going to have to delete those when we get into Inkscape. So once you open it up on that end, uh, you'll individually select these lines, delete them. All these little circles on the outside too, same thing with the center circle. We're going to want to delete these. For some reason, Onshape doesn't automatically automatically get rid of these hidden lines. Alright, now that we're done this here, at the, uh, at the very bottom of the tab, you're going to see this right here, Sketch 1, Drawing 1. We're going to right click this, we're going to select Export, it's going to bring up this menu here. We're going to change the file name. Put your name on under there. So, Mr. Actually, I won't do the period. Martin. Uh, then we want to make sure that it is uh, SVG format. Uh, this is the vector image that the laser cutter can read. Uh, then we're going to go to hide underlines, so make sure that says hide underlines, and then we're going to select download. So when you hit export, uh, it's going to download onto the browser there, so it'll pop up in your files as uh, for the download. Um, so what you can do from here is you can grab a jump drive, you can put it into your computer, you can then go into your files. I'm not going to show you here because uh, the Mac is not the same as the Windows. Um, you're going to copy the file that you just downloaded and then put it onto the USB. Then you're going to safely eject that USB and then bring it over to the laser cutter uh, where we will do those final little edits, delete these lines over here, and then we're going to cut it. All right. I know that was a lot. Uh, thank you.